Welcome back to another episode of Look What Jess Found. Today is episode 169. And I just screwed up a whole half hour video before this, which was a video that um, to, to thank the, um, the nice people at the, at the branch that I stopped by today um, on the way back from my doctor's appointment that I noticed there was one of my banks over there. So I said, oh, let me stop by, see if they have any pennies. And they did, and the uh, ladies there were super nice. And I wanted to do a special video. It goes to 2024. You know we have to look at that first. And look at all these great, they're, come, they're not coming out very good, but who cares? And, um, and, and I, but I did, I did salvage it. So if you're, uh, the members, uh, will get to see this video, um, prior to, uh, the public, the subscribers. So there's no, um, there's no error in this one. The VDB is there. Somebody says something about possibly an, a V. I don't know. That looks like a V there, but I doubt that's the extra V. It's just probably damaged. But now I have to look because it's a rumor that there's an extra V. Uh, it's not an extra V here. Just kind of looked a little bit like it through the uh, reflection. The L and I are weak. So is the I and oh, so that's the other one. The in God we trust, uh, no in God we trust. This one has it um, very light. I N and L I. I don't know if that's from. Uh, I don't know what that's from. So I will. <clears throat> so I will hold on to this one and show it. it has a light I N and L I, which uh, to me I don't know if that has anything to do with the error or not. But I'll hold on to it. Um, so I did, I was able to salvage it and, and make a short thank you video to them, which, uh, hopefully maybe, uh, they got to see it. They asked me what the, uh, what the channel was and I told them very nice, very nice people. And, um. You know, imagine, imagine, you know, I've had jobs before where, um, look at that at the top there. We got to check that out. You know, where everybody was miserable, you know, not a very good working uh, environment, of course. Huh. Um, so it's nice that my little hobby that I got here. I get a chance to interact. That's just dirt. With some nice people, you know what I'm saying? Um, not everyone's nice at banks, if you can believe that. Uh, everyone at this bank was nice, and uh, like I said, if they're watching, they know they know who they are. They're the ones who helped me on uh, June eighteenth. Oh yeah. Anyways, look what Jess found. So they know they know who they are. Thank you. So that's pretty cool, you know. Oh, what's that? Let me look at. The so whenever I take a coin off the, um, when I say, oh, what's that? And I take the coin off the, uh, so th I'm just going to, I keep alcohol. I got wipes here too. You know what? I'm just going to use the wipes instead of making a big mess on the desk. I got some alcohol wipes. So what I'm going to do is when I find a, uh, something like that, where's it at? Where's that penny at? Oh man, is this it? I just I just screwed this up. Oh no no, that's it right there in the G. 
So I'm gonna I just do it instantly. I, I pull out an alcohol pad. Right, because what I'm looking at is under that G, it looks like there might be um I don't know. I don't know if it's a die gouge or if it's a uh some sort of strike error but you know what for, for some crazy reason you see it right there right there has to be paint right on you know the one the one error place where i want to look there has to be that's the only place on the whole penny it's got to be right there and it's not a die gouge i don't think it's a die gouge it's just marks it's always it's always like that though you know i'm sorry to overreact all right, let me look at a copper penny. I grabbed it out of order just to help relax me a little. 1973 P. Let me get the mat up. Yeah, that's a nice, uh, that's a nice, very nice penny. I see that the serif on the top of the M. You know, I went to, I tell stories, you know, I don't tell too many, I don't tell too many personal stories here, but I'll tell one today because I said serif and it got me thinking about something and then something else, then something else. So, um, I went to Pratt Institute, um, at, right out of high school. I like drawing and stuff, right? Um, quick, quick little note. I went to Ter Terrence Howard was in my, uh, he was in my classes with me. We took a lot of classes together. I think he, uh, he dropped out. I think after he, I don't know if he was there for two years or not. Um, I dropped out after two years then I came back for another year. Then I dropped out again. Um, and I transferred my credits to another college um, where I graduated from. But yeah, Terrence Howard. Yeah, I went to school with him. He was cool. He was chill. Um, he used to he used to wear um, a cowboy hat. He was a bugged out dude, but he came from I think his parents had a lot of people at Pratt had their parents had a lot of money. He was one of them. I don't know how much you know you know what i'm saying like they you know he wasn't he wasn't broke you know what i'm saying that's i guess that's what i mean i'm not saying his parents were rich or anything but he, he wasn't broke he was cool though me yeah you know he was on he was on some other he was on some other level he was on terrence howard yeah he was chill man he was chill he was in some of my classes There's a wheat scent here. I saw it already. So I won't look at the date. I'll save it for the end. This is the first wheat scent that I, I found in, I want to say months, man. I want to say months. So shout out to those uh, those ladies at the bank over there, man. This a, is, this a, is this a copper? I don't know. It might not. I don't know. I can't tell. Yeah, I didn't think so. I can't tell, but I didn't think so. How do you like those apples? All right, this one's copper. So more and more, 62. If there's any doubling on the obverse, this is a key variety. More and more, I'm starting to get the same... Pretty much the same um, comment, and um, and I'm I'm thrilled about it. To be honest with you, very very happy to be getting these comments. <sighs> you know, and it's really it's serendipitous. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just who I am. You know, like uh, like Scarface said, this 
They're not, they're not lying me, man. Okay? They're not lying me. All right? Yeah, this, you know, this is who I am, man. You know? I mean, did I clean it up a little bit for the channel? Uh, yeah, I, I 100%. Okay? I 100% cleaned it up. You know, I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from the streets. Okay? And, um, but here on the channel, I've gotten the opportunity to um, <sighs> interact with other people again since I had my last job, which, which was as a social worker. Um, and that, that's really what got me out of the streets was college, to be honest with you. You know, for mo that's not the story for most people. You know, most people, you know, go to school because they're college because they're smart. And, um, Eighty four. We're looking for the double ear. I don't think that's a double ear. I'm gonna say no. Um, for me, it was a way to get out of the streets. Um, so is college important? Not, not. Not. I'm gonna say it's not. But you know, if you're from if you're from if you're in if you're from the streets, then I'm gonna say yes. So you know, there's not many people running around the streets anymore. I guess there are. I don't know. Anyway, my point is this. <clears throat> that people leaving me comments, nice comments saying that they, they like the videos, they like how I articulate what I'm seeing in the videos, the errors. If there's any doubling on this penny, it's a, uh, a key variety. Let me look at it under the loop. And And that's awesome. You know what I mean? That's just, that's awesome. I don't know about this U and the S. I'm going to say this is not doubled. I don't know. What do you think? To me, that's not doubled. You know. Can I stare at this all day and start to imagine that something's doubled? Oh, well, that N does look... Oh, look at the N. Oh, well, that's that's a horse of a different color. I don't know, man. I've seen people call that doubling. I'm not going to call it doubling. It's a nice penny. Um, So I really appreciate that. So anyone out there um, who feels that way about you know my style um you like the way I, art I articulate what i'm observing on pennies thank you for everyone who subscribed to the channel thank you Another 84. Boy, you think that's a double ear? Or is that just dirt? Where's that? Uh, it's it's, it's kind of dry already. Alcohol dries fast. Let me see. Oh, wow. Hold on a second. I found double ears before. I never found a really nice one, to be honest with you. Like, you know, you know, what I mean, the one that has the super double ear. Those are worth thousands of dollars, believe it or not. I mean, I seen one sell for, uh, I think it was two th over two thousand dollars the other day. You know, man, I'm gonna put this down as the double ear. Probably needs a nice cleaning. Um. You know, there's just something wrong. That To me, that looks like the double ear. Let me see. How if I hit it with the light? Nah, not really. Lost contrast. 
Let me put it on a little piece of paper and write double ear on it. Yeah, so more and more I'm getting uh I'm getting comments like that. You know, and just as a so again, I said thank you, thank you to to um, everyone who's left those nice comments. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. Thank you to everyone who's given you know my videos thumbs up. Thank you to everyone who's watched the videos to the end. Thank you to all five of our members who I'm super appreciative of. Donald, Cat, AKA Catatonic, Sandra, Otis, and um, Eric from Kenai Collectibles, his uh, YouTube, he does a lot of really great uh, live YouTube videos, his 2012, huh. don't see those too often, his channel uh, description is below next to his name. So thank you, thank to thank you to all of you. Thank you to the oh second one, yo! I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Thank you to the tellers who um, helped the channel out. I haven't found wheat cents in months. Seventy four D. And today we found, so far we found two. You know, I've been blessed to have this channel and, and the opportunity really to connect with so many nice people. Uh, do something I really like. And who knows? I might find a valuable coin here and there. You know, maybe I'll make an extra five, ten bucks here and there, you know? And put them to the side for a rainy day. And uh, I do have the eBay store. I just haven't sold anything on it in a while. I've been kind of busy. You know? I've been kind of busy. It takes a lot of time to list things on eBay and, um, you know, if I have extra time, I've been making videos. I'm going to look at that. Let me look at this under the loop. Oh, okay. I'll be honest with you. I don't think, I don't think those are blisters. I, I think, I think those are, um. What's it called? Um, you know what I'm going to say. I'll keep it to the side. You know, I really didn't even look at that, uh, that Canadian scent too well. I just saw it was Canadian. I was like, oh, wow. You know, this error is on Canadian pennies also. Or do they call them pennies? I don't know. No, man, they're called cents. Well, you know what? You could tell me whatever you want about Canada. I have no idea. You could you could tell me they're called the blooms, and I'd, I'd believe you until I researched it. All I know is that here in the U.S., we call them pennies. We also call them cents. You know, it doesn't really matter what you call them. Right. I don't know. What, what does the bank call them? Oh, wow. Harrisburg, PA calls them. Oh, wow. Pennies. Wow. Crazy, right? Isn't that nuts? I'm, I'm glad we ended that, that subject. <laughs> that was a pretty definitive. How about, uh, how, how about you? What, what, what do they call them? 
What? Holy what? Pennies? That's crazy. I can't believe it. I never knew that. 82 copper, large date. And so I'm, I'm, I'm super thankful. Seventy one. Let's look at the obverse for any doubling. Got the wire rim. I don't know. I mean, to me, it's more like a de deteriorated dye. That's the thing you have to be careful of. You know, knowing the difference between a deteriorated dye and um and a double die for example hard to tell man hard to tell i'm going to clean this one up i'm going to put it in a little bag i'm going to write put it on a thing that says clean possible key variety right what is it that's 71 right i'm going to put clean i mean i'm not going to do it now I'm ordering that uh, special liquid to clean uh, copper, and um, I'll do some videos on it. People have uh, used that and gotten very, very good results of, of getting rid of uh, corrosion and sending them out to get graded and them not getting the... Uh, cleaned designation one of them did in this guy's video the other ones did not looks like copper right but it's not copper doesn't look like that it's an 84 no double ear. Not copper. It's just very easy to tell between the copper and the... Uh, well, I shouldn't say that. I don't think... No, this isn't copper. But it does have some weird markings on the rim. No uh, white AM. Let me look at those markings. No, it's just, I mean, it's just deterioration. Can it be a collar? Can it be a collar error? Maybe. It's not stereotypical. I really can't tell. I saw the Batman error the other day on uh, on one of the uh, websites, and I keep looking for it now. I want to find a Batman uh, a Batman error. See, I think these pennies are all from the same person. Because I just noticed another green one. Nah, the the green from the other one was uh, uh, like wax. I don't think this is the same material. 2007. Let me look at that set. You know, that's so weird. Uh, it could be. I don't think so. It could be, but I don't think so. I like that answer. 
And I can't believe, I, ha I don't think I found two wheat cents in a roll. Um, I want to say ever, to be honest, 1997. Double ear? Nope. So there's two with double ears, the 84 and the 97. Yeah, I, I I don't remember finding two wheat cents in one roll. Um, uh, you know that wasn't like uh, you know, a wheat cent roll. I'm saying. All right, here they are. We're gonna try to guess the years. Um, let's see which one do we want to do first. Let's do the the one that looks newer. This one to me looks a little newer. All right, guess the year. Take a look at it. I'm gonna. I'm thinking about it. I want to say, so the the last year that they made a wheat cent was uh, 1958. I want to say this one is like a in the 50s. I don't think this is in the 40s. I mean, could it be late 40s? Yeah, but I'm gonna say. 50s. I'm going to say a 50s penny. <laughs> yeah, boy. Nice. 57. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Let's look at the next one. I'm going to lean. I'm going to say, oh, that looks like a die gouge. Could be a strike through, but I'm thinking it's a die gouge. Could be a collar error also, but I'm thinking a die gouge. Um, I'm going to say uh, 40s. I'm going to say 40s on this one. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Talk about close, huh? Oh, man. That should count, man. 50 should count. 1950. I'm looking at it on the loop. I'm admiring it. Who knows? Then probably if I probably if I find another one, it's going to be uh, for one of the rolls from the bank. Tomorrow I'll probably do uh, another roll from the bank. You know, when you do when you get a lot of copper, the uh, videos take take longer because uh, it's just more to look at. Yeah, that's probably a uh, die gouge, collar era, strike through, debris, you know, something. It's pretty cool. Is it worth anything? It might be worth an extra dollar. Uh, if it's a special era, then it's worth more, obviously. So thank you for, um, if you been, if you watched the whole video to the end, thank you very much. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you to every our subscribers, our viewers, our members, and the tellers. Thank you very much. God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.